music videos aren't quite the marketing tool they used to be in MTV's heyday, their power, artistically and commercially, can still be huge. Getting celebrities along for the ride with such endeavours is commonplace, but wrestlers? Mm, not so much. And when one wacky world crosses paths with another wacky world, the results are usually pretty… well, wacky. Today, we are going to celebrate some of the most bizarre, but before we dive into it, check out our brand new music channel for more content like this. There'll be a link to this on your screens right now, so click it, give us a subscribe, and stay tuned. We'll be doing all kinds of things from lists to talking heads and everything in between. Anyway, for now, business over, list now. I'm Andy for What Culture Wrestling, and here are the 10 weirdest wrestling cameos in music videos. Number 10, Captain Lou Albano for Cindy Lauper. What better place to start than where it all began? This, as far as we're aware, was the first instance of a major wrestling personality appearing in a music video. Albano apparently met Lopper on a trip to Puerto Rico, where she asked him to appear in her debut video for Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. This trend continued, and they kept collaborating when Lou played a background cook for all of two seconds in Lopper's follow up time after time, but the video for her third single, She Bop, took an unusual turn. A song about, well, masturbation with a video themed around sexual liberation, Albano's presence was pretty weird and quite discomforting. He's dressed like an old woman, for God's sake. Meanwhile, women's wrestling icon Wendy Richter also makes an appearance as a sultry waitress. Number 9, Tomohiro Ishii for Maze. If you're aware of Big Tom Ishii, it's probably as the surly-faced, short-necked stone pit bull of New Japan Pro Wrestling. A man so hard, he eats chunks of granite and drinks wasps for breakfast. And certainly not the kind of guy you'd expect to show up in a sappy J-pop video. Yet that's exactly what we have here. In 2016, Ishii and Maze came together in the video for a track called Darling, with Ishii decked out something like Don Johnson in Miami Vice, Super, and he was super, super in to the lead singer. It's a far cry from the face-smashing, head-dropping brawler that NJPW fans know and love, but it's an absolute hoot. For a WWE equivalent, imagine Tommaso Ciampa trying to woo Ariana Grande in a cheesy pop ballad video. Actually, come to think of it, I kind of want to see that now. Number 8. The WWE Divas for Timberland featuring The Hives Back when Timberland was a thing, 2007 to be precise, virtually everything he touched turned to gold. So when he made an overture towards WWE for his single Throw It On Me, the company were very happy to oblige. Pitting a team called The Baby Faces against Extreme Expose, the video features a unit comprised of Tori Wilson, Ashley Massaro and Maurice going against Layla, Brooke Adams and Kelly Kelly in a rainy rooftop tag team match. And in an era that predates WWE's women's revolution, the bout quickly degenerates into a pillow fight before Timbaland declares the baby faces the winners. The whole aesthetic is very Sin City, and really, it's the kind of thing the company would probably prefer to leave in the past, given their modern presentation of women's wrestling. Still, they were so delighted with it at the time that WWE even premiered the music video on Monday Night Raw. Number 7. Raven for the Smashing Pumpkins Throughout his life, Billy Corgan has enjoyed a brief stint in ECW, a spell in TNA, and his eventual purchase of the NWA. Basically, the man loves wrestling, so of course he brought in Raven, cheerleader Melissa, and Shelly Martinez for the Smashing Pumpkins single, Owata. The video tells the story of a love triangle between the trio, and in an odd twist, Raven acts as Shelly's manager, not the other way around, and while the commercial video was just 3 minutes long, there's a 12 minuter out there somewhere on the internet and it gives a much better account of the intended plotline. Coincidentally, the same year this video was released, Corgan even formed his own wrestling company, Resistance Pro Wrestling. Based out of Chicago, Corbin's promotion would go on to feature many stars of the indie scene, including, you guessed it, Raven, cheerleader Melissa, and Shelly Martinez. Good old Ariel. Number 6. CM Punk for Less Than Jake 
Chick Magnet Phil's love of alternative music is well known. He was even spotted crowd surfing at a Less Than Jake concert in 2015, and as it happens, his pre-existing relationship with the band helped him into the music video for their 2013 song My Money Is On The Long Shot. The video features short clips of the band's friends lip syncing along to the song, all combined to make up the entirety of the 3 minute video, including the likes of New Fan Glory, Real Big Fish, All Time Low and a host of other bands, it also features personalities from other walks of life. Punk himself makes a very brief appearance towards the start, singing along to the song in the shower. Very sexy. Overall, it's a feel good video and the inclusion of Punk gives it a noteworthy status among wrestling fans, while solidifying the straight edge superstar as a wrestling personality that runs in many circles. Number 5. Ric Flair for Migos Alright, look, I know boatloads of rappers have name dropped Ric Flair, shoutouts to Killer Mike, and used his persona to influence their own, shoutouts to every bling rapper ever, and the song is called Ric Flair Drip, so of course he's in the video. But it's still Ric Flair in a Migos video, man. I repeat, Ric Flair, Migos. That's ridiculous. It's really, really weird and quite surreal watching this elderly version of the Nature Boy flashing bling, gyrating, and going woo with the Georgia Trio, and really, it's a fitting tribute to the dirtiest player in the game. God bless him. Number 4. China for Seven Dust China's array of alternative media post-WWE career moves saw her appear in the 2003 music video for the Seven Dust song, Enemy. With intense lyrics and a confrontational tone, it's only fitting that the accompanying clip revolve around a back alley fight scene. But this was no ordinary alley fight. China plays Lulu, a violent blonde who enjoys nothing more than handing out shellackings to anyone who crosses her path, and her challenger, a martial artist with no arms, Romp, who is accompanied by his little person manager, Chi Chi Gigante. No. Really, this actually happened. Romp wins the fight, finishing China off with a headbutt and earning himself a replica of the WWE Championship belt circa 98 to 2002. All in all, pretty damn wacky. Ironically, the song would later become the official theme for Unforgiven 2003. And who did that feature in the main event? Triple H, China's boyfriend, the whole reason she left the company in the first place. Good. Number 3. Bill Goldberg for Megadeth Brash metal pioneers they may be, but Megadeth's Risk album struggled creatively and commercially. Even with the lead single, Crush Him, featured in the soundtrack for Jean-Claude Van Damme's Universal Soldier, The Return. Well, good old Uncle Bill is in that film as well, and as a result, he plays a big part in the music video. Goldberg is seen roaming around grimacing as the band begin playing on the movie set, and in an ironic move considering some of the criticism thrown at him early in his career, he plays a cyborg. Hmm. Later in the song, Goldie returns to sing backing vocals in the chorus, making this a pretty sweet gig all round for the ex-WCW star. Number 2. AJ Styles for Sarah Darling Sarah Darling is a pop country singer who rose to fame as part of the e-reality show The Entertainer in the late 2000s. In 2011, Darling released her second album and enlisted AJ's help to star in the lead video for the lead single, Something To Do With Your Hands, which, looking at the title, doesn't seem like the best look for an apparent family man. The result was Styles being cast as a plumber. He arrives at Miss Darling's house in order to provide handyman duties after she has purposely broke several appliances as an excuse to invite him over. Now, while that synopsis and song title could easily be applied to countless dodgy DVDs found in your dad's secret stash, the video itself is the complete opposite and about as exciting as a Baron Corbin chinlock. But what's worst of all is that the song is so annoyingly catchy that if you go out of your way to check Styles' appearance out, you're almost certainly going to have the damn thing stuck in your head for the rest of the day. But on the bright side, could be worse, could be Baby Shark, and yep, that's now in my head as well. Brilliant! And at number one, the ultimate warrior for Phil Collins? 
The 1980s were a curious decade for music videos. Michael Jackson became a zombie in Thriller, Peter Gabriel became just about everything in Sledgehammer, and Dire Straits slipped into 3D for money for nothing. For some reason, Phil Collins decided that the best way to sell the visuals for his sappy pop song Two Hearts was to include a stark raving lunatic who used to shake the ropes, ramble nonsensically, and claim to be from outer space. Hmm. What became of the venture is 90 seconds of optical sludge that's more than enough to cause momentary mental paralysis. Load the spaceship with rocket fuel, indeed. The warrior enters the video about halfway through by awkwardly swaying to the beat of the song before beginning his beatdown on the Genesis Man. Collins himself is decked out in red and white wrestling attire adorned with hearts, which is seemingly the only logical tie into the song that he's supposed to be promoting. Needless to say, Mr. Collins is no athlete, and he kind of makes James Ellsworth look like Ricochet. But while old man Phil isn't the one taking the bumps in the video, the warrior himself is clearly the one dishing out the punishment, all of which leads you to believe that there's a stunt guy in there somewhere missing a few teeth and a few brain cells with a great story to tell, if he can remember it. So that's our list, but can you think of any other wacky wrestling cameos in music? videos. Let us know down in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. And once again, if you like content like this and you want more, go ahead and check out our new music channel. We'll have all kinds of fun stuff dropping weekly. Once you've done all this, follow us on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE and myself at Andy H. Murray if you're into weird bald guys. Bye!